Okay, so in this video, we're going to make the stuffing that you see me put into the turkey. Now, side note here. Actually, it's not really a side note, but a note. I was really annoyed with my stuffing bread. Um, the bread itself was delicious, don't get me wrong. But I wish I would have put it into a freezer bag and stuck it into the freezer because I made it about four days in advance so the bread actually dried out even being in the fridge in a sealed container and I hate working with stale bread when I make my stuffing I prefer soft really um, moist bread when I make my stuffing because I find it works so much better and it makes it taste a heck of a lot better so you see I'm breaking up I actually give up because I'm annoyed with it at this point I'm going to get some stock and as soon as I find my can opener, because I'm always losing that thing. Okay, I'm going to add some stock to this to help uh, make it a little more moist. It helped, but it didn't really help. But that's okay. It, it came out in the end. And I'm going to add my egg. I think I had two eggs in total to this, but we'll see as we go through, through this. And yes, I know I should be cracking them into a bowl and putting them in there. But man, that's just another dish to make. And man, man, I don't like it. I'm the one that does the dishes. Okay, so I'm trying to mix everything up and then I realize, actually I do come to the realization I shouldn't have done this because I start doing something else. But in there we're going to add one carrot and I think that's uh, the equivalent of four celery sticks in there. And then here, I re this is the point I realize I need to wash my hands. So just one moment. Okay, so now I'm adding some green onion to this. This is why I shouldn't have washed my hands because I needed to touch this and I don't want to touch that after touching the raw egg. So I've got some celery in there. I have a carrot in there. I have, oh, there, yep, there we go. There's that second egg. I have some celery in there and I got my breadcrumbs and I have turkey stock in there. Now we're fighting with the compost bin again and washing my hands yet again. I wash my hands a lot. My hands are always broken and dried and cracked and bleeding half the time. Okay, so now we're just going to break that egg yolk. I don't know why I do that. I must do that. It's just like so much fun to bust that thing open in your fingertips. We're going to mix everything together. Oh, hey, I don't know if you've seen that. There, one flew off the floor. I think Katie picked that up for me. And at this point, I'm kind of realizing that it's really difficult to stir this together because of how stale the bread became. But, oh, suit, there we go. I had a whole bunch of big mess, big mess. Like this was a huge mess. I normally deal with beautiful, fresh, soft bread. So next time I'm put it in the freezer, then that way I won't, I shouldn't have to deal with this again, or I just won't make it so far in advance. We're just going to mix it together, mix, mix, mix. And then, well, I'll show you in a second. Okay. So now I'm done fighting with the stuffing. I've already stuffed the turkey and I'm taking my leftover bits and I'm going to put it into this casserole dish, which I didn't spray, which side note, I should have done. Uh, next, the pan came clean pr pretty easily, but I still should have sprayed it. Um, now I did let that stuffing sit for a while to see if that would help soften it up and it never actually did. It didn't work. So what I end up by doing here is I add more stock to it. So in that way, when it's, when I put it back into the oven, I think I added more stock than that, um, off camera. I can't remember. But, uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Oh gosh. But anyway, I let it sit aside. Didn't soften up whatsoever, but it still came out really, really good. And which you'll see in a moment because now I'm going to put that aside and then put it in the oven at 350 until, oh, here we go. I'm going to keep talking. So I put it in the oven at 350 for, I think it was 25 or 30 minutes. Okay, so now I'm pulling the stuffing out of the turkey. You can see how good and glorious that stuffing looks. I forgot to get the stuffing um, afterwards in the casserole dish, but I may have caught it in another clip. I can't remember. It's actually kind of funny. I'm sitting here um, talking with my mom because my mom's here, and she thought that she might get on camera. She ran to a completely another room. It was, it was just funny. She didn't realize that my camera has such a small um, view range. <laughs> oh, she thought she might get on camera. It's like, no, mom, you're not going to. That's how camera shy my mom is. But anyway, I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch this entire thing. Uh, 
So you see, there we go. There's the stuffing in the end. It's glorious. It's delicious. That stuff line was amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you again really soon because the next video is another Christmas dinner video. So I'll see you soon. Bye.